Ayo, Tixio and Git Boss Akumu has returned and today we're going to show you guys how to get over 9k score in the hell difficulty. So as usual we're going to check the individual rankings first and the hardest from Nights is already showing us the current number one team but it is the very first week in my opinion it is definitely not worth it to try hard yet um, even though it's pretty nice if we can actually show you a pretty nice run already or basically the strat for the push week but I think I will keep this for now for the push week and um, at least for now we're going to just show you guys the Archangel team. So this is going, the positioning I um, really like to use and um, the reason is basically um, we can attack three times with the red units and because we have the elemental disadvantage mission we're going to target the right side hand in order to get three of the five already. So if you're new on this channel and you're not aware we usually do this every week we usually um, either check the individual ranking and copy the team or we're going to put in our own ideas in order to get the 9k score so um if you don't want to miss anything definitely make sure to subscribe and yeah so basically um also it will be very interesting to know how many turns or how many runs did you take in order to get the 9k because at the beginning i was not targeting the right side hand so i did not always get a nice run i did get 9k though but I was just not satisfied because we did not get all the missions and um, yeah so let me know in the comment section um, how many runs you took either in order to get 9k or in order to get all the missions because if you get all the missions you automatically pretty much have 9k as well so yeah um, now let's just start and let's see what's going to happen so basically um, the reason is not just that we are going to get three out of um, for uh, three out of five elemental disadvantages the problem is if we deal too much damage on the left hand is that he gets into the invincibility state if both hands are dead and basically if he's super super low he takes just way too much damage and um that is just going to be super annoying if he has the invincibility state because we just lose one turn for nothing basically but yeah let's just see what is going to happen for now so um, I really do not like those single targets because I think those single targets are going to be used which is very very sad um, but at least we are going to use uh, three AoEs which I really really like and I just hope that we do not kill the um, left hand yet so that we hopefully are going to be able to kill um, together uh, with another AoE but the problem is oh Jesus Christ um, oh do we actually kill the main body as well? Oh my fucking god, this is literally the worst RNG I have ever seen. He has like literally no HP left, so um, I really want to see how much HP does he actually have left. I think we can check that. Like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck is this run? But hey, it is what it is, it can happen. Um, bad RNG is bound to happen sometimes. So, um, 176, Jesus Christ. Um, and it's all because this account is too free to play guys definitely 100% so now we're going to basically lose a full turn which is not completely horrible because we are going to be able to basically get more wood gauges in order to get another wood and we actually have the list wood so um it's honestly bad unless we can get the tamir wood i really hope we're going to get the tamir wood so we're going to buff yeah, I think we get the Tami. Oh no, fuck. Tami gets wounded, Jesus Christ. So now it would have be would be best if we can get the uh, mag or if we can get anyone's ult, but we cannot get anyone's ult. Um, this is just so horrible. Like the literally the worst unit who um could have gotten ulted on got ulted and here very very nice one million damage. That's pretty cool. So um now let's see what is going to happen because yeah once again this is just like literally the um worst rng that we did not kill but hey um we gotta live with it so at least we have a lot of quite a lot of buffs um which is very nice and hopefully we kill the left hand because the left hand is definitely um troublesome because yeah um it has a stance as well in this phase and um very very sad we do like literally no damage so um at least tamir is doing a decent amount of damage but ah oh, jesus christ that's just really really annoying um at least we have this um golden list single target after using the um aoe of um of of of, of sariel and also after the ult basically the ult should be killing the left hand i think and then the aoe should deal a decent amount of damage and or maybe actually i think the aoe does not kill the right side hand which might be not that bad in order to deal 
um, the 250k damage mark, or what was the highest damage mark? Let me check again. Um, no, 250k, yeah. Um, so, okay, never mind. It actually killed. Very, very sad that it didn't deal the 250k. But now, Liz is definitely. Damn it. Liz Golden Card did more damage than her ult. That's just really, really crazy, guys. But yeah, now let's see what score we actually get. And this is without getting an ult. So imagine we would have been able to get the Tamir ult, we probably would have gotten even more points, but hey, 14k on auto while, um, let me see what the current number 2 score is, and I'm pretty sure the current number 2, he is not autoing, so um, the current number 2 is almost having 15k, so 1k less than the current number 2 team, um, with the same team I mean. That's very, very solid in my, my opinion. So yeah, let me know in the comment section if this was helpful. And yeah, thank you so much for tuning in and peace out for now.